Hello, I'm Scott, the breathing guy. I will train you to locate, generate, activate core key energy in physical activity. This video series is going to address the four components in driver swing mechanics with key energy. And this component is in le uh, lesson two is B. It is the head attitude generator. Now this is going to take a little bit of understanding. The uh, idea of this generator up here influencing this generator to direct energy down to here, down to the club. The head, from an energy point of view, directs energy or consumes energy, but never produces energy. So the idea of the way your attitude is actually is directing your energy. And also, it has abstract concepts. Any emotional abstract idea, any idea in your head consumes energy by definition. The whole idea of developing your golf swing is take an idea, okay, distance and involved, and then convert it into a sensation based on your experiences and practice into your swing. But once you start to swing, you want a hundred percent fit. There is no abstract thought, there's no way to. If you think of anything or a thought comes in or, oh, I goof up, your swing is shot. It will be off, it will be weak, something will be off. So understanding the clarity you need in purpose as the time of you uh, executing matters. One. So how do you affect attitude? Let's, let's say, what is an attitude composed of for the golf swing, for this, say for this shot? First off, understanding the club. You have to think about what club you're using in order to determine the distance that you've used or practice on. Now, if you're practicing with a club on the range, developing your attitude is critical so you can transfer it over to the course. And that's how you, your attitude of actually swinging the club, hitting the ball, feeling the purpose and understanding the distance is very important. Most people think it's just physical. No, you're developing your physical, yes, but you also have develop, should take the time and develop an attitude, a rhythm, a pattern that you created in relationship to these four components. You sensitize yourself in practice. So when you go on the course, the difference is you do your analytical, but the body sensations you can make adjust very quickly and involve. So getting the feel, it's called the golf feel. Get into that whole feeling of it. It is an attitude in itself that you've created through practice, repeated behavior, and thought about. Thought is the initiation of action, but the body completes the action, only initiate. So thought is only a small portion. Of, it's based on judgment in the golf swing, or in anything, really, involved. But the more you consume, in thought, the less you have for your physical swing. So, what is the technique then to change from thought to golf swing? Here's a rule. Remember this one. The more you think, the less you feel. That's feeling your feet, your body, whatever. The more you feel, the less you think. So transferring your thought into feeling your core generator, your body, where the swing is, is the, actually the transition you, you have to develop and get used to. It is a process. It is a technique. It is a method that you develop. But always remember the foundation of that. And how you get there is, can be several different ways, but the fundamental is basic. You have to feel your feet, body, and when you do that, you have no more abstract in your swing. So that's the key element, the relationship in the, uh, the goal of the, if you want to say, the attitude generator. Now, the attitude generator is composed of a lot of little things that affects the body, because whatever, you, uh, if you want to say I said, your attitude is being fed by the body's energy. So if you're negative or question or something like that, it's disruptive. And then it feeds back to here that affects all the whole body. So if you had just an even flow, I could create this. This is a, like a Zen state or a zone state. Clarity of purpose, flow of energy, movements clear. So you go through, you create this, goes up to your attitude. The attitude is clear, projects down as one action. 
with a minimum of feedback and forth. And once you start your initiating swing, once you engage your side goal, you feel the swing. The higher the level that you feel your whole body doing the swing, uh, it, that just flows. There's no abstract thought. So the transition of feeling while you're at a dress is very important. So the attitude charts changing to a more physical sensation. The mind is consumed with sensation, not with an idea, not with a fear or anything else. So when you do practice, practice with uh, muscle intensity feeling on the rain. So when you leave, you're not feeling your mind. Your mind's not in uh, some la-la land thinking more than you're feeling. But the higher the level of feeling you have, when you leave the range or on the way to the, uh, to the golf course, there's practice. You get in your car, you're driving. There's a way of reconditioning your attitude to play. Get in your playing attitude. You have to create. All you newcomers to the golf, you have to create a golf attitude. And it's critical. And it's not negative. It's physical. That's the key. A lot of people assume golf is a mental game. No, it doesn't leave you any room. It's a physical game. I've never seen a thought move a ball. I've never seen a thought pick up a golf club. Your body does it. Your body does all what your mind tells it to do. So be careful what you tell it what to do because you'll get the result. Maybe it's good, bad, but it'll be something. So really understanding attitude and relationship. Now, how do you increase your level of physical sensations going to the brain it's because you actually got three parts you got the brain itself and what conditions that's in is important and you got the mind the mind is like looking at the brain what's coming in here and it balances up with the abstract what's your purpose what's your thought what you you know what you think you feel you i should be feeling this or i should be this or that it's all about should or would have could have that's it. It's all consuming energy. But what the mind is doing, it either can go to the I should have, could have, or would have uh, eaten energy or direct it. It directs energy or it goes back to the body as a feedback process to enhance what it was. Because once you develop the judgment, accurate judgment, you have the feel of that club in that judgment, then transferring that to 100% uh, physical sensation to do it. That requires the swing mechanics, that's over here. The better you feel your swing mechanics, the more repeatability you have it. The better you feel your swing mechanics in a, with an iron, the better you can adjust the swing mechanics with the purpose of the club. In other words, you only wanna hit 50 yards, 75, 100, 150 with that club. So understanding the swing mechanics come to play over here after these two. Because this affects swing mechanics, because swing mechanics is shaping the body, which gives a feedback through the core to the, uh, to the attitude generator. But this is the attitude generator. The attitude generator has three components. Your brain, because whatever sensation you're feeling, your feet or whatever, got to go to the brain. But the mind has to pick up the sensation. The mind directs either a direction of energy, either it goes back to the body or goes to the abstract part of the brain, mind. Uh, should have, would have, could have thing. I would uh, believe or whatever. It consumes energy. Getting out of that once you make a judgment. It's the judgment side. A judgment is an abstract idea, period. And going back to the physical sensation to execute the judgment. That's separate. So understanding the attitude generator, how to work it, how these two play together, and how one affects the other is a very key component for you to enhance your abilities to swing. There's a lot more involved here, I know, but that's other lessons. But the rule is this, the more you feel, the less you think. The more you think, the less you're weaker in your swing. That's it, the less you feel your swing, the less it's gonna go off. How to make the transition from a thought which starts all action to the, uh, to the physical that does all action is a technique, a method that you have to, it's part of learning the game. It's part of the fun of being with your body. It's like any sport, baseball, football, whatever. When you're in the flow and your body's working, you're not thinking. When you're thinking, you're, you know, it's 
directing, moving. How well you do that determines the outcome of the, if you're going to see the golf swing. Have a good day and look for Driver Swing Mechanic, Lesson 2. This is uh, the, uh, this is B, Attitude Generator.